the Apple Watch on. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode two of the Dumbbell Only Workouts. We're in the garage gym today uh, and I'm going to be taking you through a Dumbbell Only Back Workout, limited equipment to grow those wings. So it's gonna be seven exercises comprised of supersets and solid sets. I'm gonna be showing you some unique takes on some classic exercises. Um, so unfortunately we can't do any pull up works because a lot of people don't have a bar. Um, so we're gonna be working around that, making sure that we hit every angle. I'm not gonna use a bench either because not a lot of people have a bench. So we're literally just using two sets of, two pairs, one pair of dumbbells, hitting those back and growing. So let's get into it. So the first exercise today is an ISO row. So what we're gonna be doing is contracting and rowing with one, then the other holding one in contraction. And then once you hit 10, going to failure. Now, you, like I said in the other videos, adjust your reps depending on what dumbbells you're gonna be using. Now today, I'm gonna to be using 20 kilos. Uh, it's good, like mediocre range. It's fairly heavy for the stuff that we're gonna be doing flies with, but we're gonna work around that. So let's do our first exercise. Now, sticking the bum out, head neutral, both up, and then one. Together. traction in the back with that. Um, so again, we're gonna be four sets of that. Adjust the reps depending on your dumbbells and really get those lats firing up. Now, into the next exercise, which is gonna be a superset. All right guys, so next exercise is going to be a dumbbell pullover superset with a renegade row. Now this is very high expenditure. It's really gonna be working your back, your lats, everything. So we can't come down all the way so we're just coming down to, just before a stop, pulling over. So we're not coming all the way across because that will target more of your chest. Coming down one, just working those lats. We've got 12 reps. So coming out. One. Just a small move, flare out if you can. Keep your back as flat as you can. Priming the back, then we switch it around, go straight into the renegade rows. Now this is a tough movement, but ah, this is great for your core, your back, and pretty much everything. So get your feet fairly wide, coming up. One. firing up your back now you can do more reps you can just find on here more on the pullovers and again if you have a lighter weight or a heavier weight or an easier weight to hold uh, instead of long ways you can hold it horizontally get more range of motion but again four sets of that and your back will be on fire so on to the third exercise now well fourth exercise including the super set we're gonna do a bent over one arm row but what we're going to do instead of pulling it back like we did with the renegade rows you're going to pull out to the side hitting more of your rear delt your rhomboid and the upper lat contracting like so 
giving you that nice V taper. Because um, this is the goal today. I want to create the nice upside down triangle. I know pull ups are one of the best exercises to do that with, but a lot of people don't. Pull up bar, like I said, so we're working with what we've got now. What we want to be doing here is getting over in the bent over row position. So, quick tip about bent over rows. A lot of people, I see them like punching over, or what they're doing is they're kind of going down like that and doing this weird thing. No. What you want to be doing, imagine you're twerking. You want to, st <laughs> <laughs> want to stick out that bum. Keep, let the knees naturally bend. Don't think about bending the knees. So you want to stick the bum out, let the hamstring pull on the knees, keeping that back straight. That is the position you want to do any sort of row in if it's bent over. Little tip there. So let's go into this 10 reps each side. Use this hand on your knees to support. So we're doing four sets of that, 10 reps on each side, into the next superset. <laughs> right, so the next superset is, we're doing stiff leg deadlifts, but we're like doing an over-exaggeration. So, remember the twerk, sticking the bum out, nice stretch in the lats, you're coming up, contracting, okay? This is great for your lower back, and we're gonna put some upper back into there, then we're going straight into kneeling shrugs, just like the last video, because traps is still your back. Can never train enough traps. That's one thing I never really trained is my traps. So start doing it more. So let's do this. 10 to 12 reps. Over exaggerated stiff leg deadlift. So coming down, stretch those lats. Contract one. Two. Three. Pull the elbows back. Contract your back at the top. favorite at the moment. But instead of doing it straight up, I'm going to bend over slightly and come up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 11, 12, 13, so, four sets of that. <laughs> Sorry. And then we go into our last exercise. All right, guys, so the last exercise, we're gonna be doing rear delt row. Now, the rear delt row, um, 20s might be a little bit too heavy, but I'm just gonna be kind of really pulling back with my elbows. That's what I wanna focus with here. If you've got lighter dumbbells, go with just a rear delt fly, keeping it nice and controlled Coming back, we're gonna go four sets to failure. Now, when it comes, if you've got heavier dumbbells, if you're going with a row, go neutral grip, try to pull back, and I get exactly the same amount of contraction. It'll blow them up as well. I mean, I used to do this all the time. A little bit too heavy, but it feels good, so let's do it. <sighs> Ah. 
and that will absolutely blow up your upper back as you're hitting a little bit of your rear delts. Sorry, a lot of your rear delts and your traps as well. So guys, that wraps up the dumbbell only back workout. Now guys, I know back is probably one of the harder muscle groups to hit when you only have the dumbbells. Hell, if you don't have any more dumbbells, it's probably one of the hardest things to hit. But these are some great exercises to throw into your routine or you can do this all as a workout and grow those wings. Now, I will be doing more episodes like this covering legs, abs, chest, and doing full body, upper body, and all of that coming up because we're still in lockdown and there is no end in sight. Oh. But guys, if you did like this video, please drop it a like. And if you haven't subscribed, now's your best time to do so because <laughs> I'm going to be coming out with all the workouts. But if anything, I'll see you in the next one.